talk to me about the 53 then how how do you feel about that yeah 53 was cool um you know i it kind of for me felt like a bonus race um really going into like we were working really hard on the 50 of course but all my eggs not maybe not all my eggs but like i was really thinking okay 100 breast two ims like the big ones and then when i get to the 50 it'll just be a celebration of what had happened in those two right um, and when i had gotten to the 50 after those two races being what they were i was like you know what i have one more race and it's my favorite race in the world so i'm just going to enjoy it um and i did and i had a great time um there was uh some more drama uh we love some drama um but i uh went through the rounds did well ex like kind of advanced i was like okay cool like i know what i can do like i know how i can adjust it i remember in semis or, or maybe even was prelims i think i was next to ben proud in one of the two and i had come into the wall in the last like 10 and kind of lifted my head just slightly because i was like boom okay cool i definitely touched like top two in this heat like i felt really confident and i turned around i was like fifth or sixth i'm like oh my goodness and it was just one of the fastest heats so i was really grateful that i advanced still but i was like i cannot make those little mistakes again mm. and so the execution from race to race was great but obviously there was something missing there because you know i've done so much racing and been dealing with so much already that i was just got at to a point where i was like i'm ready to be done with my individual swims i want to give it kind of everything um but going into the final, what really was upsetting to me and kind of disappointing was because of all the drama we had had with vaccines and masks and stuff like that, um, I, uh, I was wearing my mask in the call room and friends of mine from South Africa, I had noticed they were putting Bible verses on their mask. And I thought that that's the coolest thing. Like what an easy way to to be bold in my faith, to say something. And I think it was like 1 Corinthians, um, I don't remember the verse, but I uh, I put it, I was wrote, I wrote on my mask, I took my black one off, wrote on a white one, put it on to go out for the race. And Bruno was next to me uh, in the call room, we were getting ready, we were pumped up. I'm like so in the zone. And um, our uh, team manager walks into the call room and taps me on the shoulder minutes before i'm about to go out to to race for the final and says uh whatever you're doing don't do it like or along those lines like don't just don't do it like just don't do it and i'm like are you kidding me like you walk in here you disrupt the whole thing and, and they had to get her out of the room really quickly because obviously it's a huge rule kind of broken and i was like my focus now is just like completely shifted gone and um and it was unfortunate. I, I still, I wore the mask. It was so funny. Bruno was like, dude, if you believe it, like wear the mask, like no one's going to get hurt by it. Like wear the mask. You're still wearing a mask. And, um, and so that was cool. Like we were able to just kind of brush past, but that was one of those weird things. Where I was like, why? Like, I'm here to just race. Like, this is such what? an odd time to jump in. Okay. And, and the worst thing is I look back and I'm thinking, man, like, you know, you start to wonder like, dang, if that didn't happen, would I have swim five one hundreds faster <laughs> but obviously that's no way to approach a situation it's not even an excuse but you know it was it was a fun race like i had a great time in that race everything was clean like there was nothing else i could have done in that race to to get those top three other than just be a little faster and so to turn over and see how stoked bruno was to win his first individual medal was like awesome like i'm happy for him caleb crushed it like it was just it was a proud moment, even though I didn't get that. I then again had to get back into reservation or preservation mode, knowing, okay, I've got the relay in about an hour on to mm. the next one. I am mm. now focused on the relay. Everything is towards my guys and, and bringing this, uh, keeping this win streak alive. And so I had to do that. So I went back to the warm down pool, <coughs> happy with my swim because, you know, I chose to be. And then got ready, and and obviously we went into the relay. Well, listen, man, um, I'm I'm disgusted to hear the story that someone interfered with your 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 space at that point in time. Um, right. Terrible. Uh, 
it just just awful. It reminds me kind of like the Gary Hall Jr. Um, story from 2004 when when somebody tried to interfere in his space at that point in time. He figured it out at that point, but um, but but listen, you know, swim the hundred breast, two hundred IM, and, and fifty free is just unheard of in the swimming world. If you know anything about swimming, it's just unheard of. So for you to do what you're doing is 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 just sick.